some gem toy. Now, let's get in there and put all these parts together and build ourselves that Q-tip crossbow. Whoa. Yeah. Take that. So these bits and pieces that we glued together are now glued together. So the little, little seat is glued to the shaft. The switch. We fed the duck. So that's glued in there. And the crossbow, the bow itself has the little box glued on top. So that's all done. So now the next thing to do is you need some sandpaper. And this is a 220. So I got 220, which is a, a very gentle sandpaper. And these washers need to be slightly thinner than the rest of the wood. So I'm literally going to sand this down like a millimeter. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put my finger on here. And I'm just going to sand each one of these little circles down. And it just makes them slightly thinner so that this, the trigger and the pin aren't tightly jammed inside of the sandwich of the, the handle. So you're going to need a little bit of sandpaper and I prefer around 200, 220. Whoa. Whoa. When you're ready and everything's all glued and dried, you got to start off with the handle that has the slots. This handle here has slotted. See how this handle has two holes and this handle has the slots. So let's start with the slot handle. All right, and then you're gonna need these rivet pegs. They're just straight little rivet pegs. And they go in, so this is, this is the way the gun is. This is it, bang, bang. It's like this, so this is the top. This is where it'll shoot from. So what you want is you want these rivets to go into these top three holes. So we're just going to put them in. And you'll notice that the groove in the rivets are pointing up. So let me show you. So see how these little pegs have a hole, like a little peg hole in the end. Those have to be facing upward. So that's how you would begin this adventure. You get those three pegs in. And you're going to put one of these washers that you've sanded down on the top two. And then this duck is looking inside like that. So that's how your trigger would go on. You got your little trigger. And then your pin goes like this. See how there's like a little place for a rubber band on the tip of the pin? So you stretch your rubber band, put it in there, and this is where your pin would go, like this. So the pin goes, and the little duck and the duck food goes under the pin like that. So that's how it works, is that this moves each other up and down. So put that there, get that little rubber band down there. Now these spacer pegs, same thing. They need to point with their groove just like the rest of them. So I'm going to slide these spacer pegs into these slots down here. So let's get that into place. Try not to let the rubber band mess with my world here. Get those pegs lined up. Get that in there. So now all five of those pegs are in place. The two that slide in are slid all the way in. So once you've got the pin, the trigger, and all these little pegs in place, make sure you put your washer, a washer on both sides so it spaces it correctly. So that the trigger and the pin gets a, one of those sanded down washers on both sides. So there's one on the bottom, and then there's one on top, and it sandwiches them in there. Now, I'm going to attach the bottom pegs first. So I'm going to squeeze these together and get that in place. And it's hard. It's hard getting those first two in place, and then the rest will kind of just fall in. So you 
get them lined up and that's on now you just have to make sure uh oh dropping stuff there we go now if your trigger is out here this is good you want to be able to see this you don't want to build this and have this trigger all jammed up and behind this stuff so make sure at this point that your trigger is completely visible out here like that that's all now get this handle lock lined up and in place so get this on there now those grooves are pointing up for a reason you should be able to just push down and then they'll lock into the grooves so it's very very handy there so you can see how the, those little holes are offset on this handle lock so it it clits down see how I'm doing it over and over now so you just push it down and then later the rest of the build puts pressure here to keep it down so this is the very clever mechanism here that locks it all together alrighty here's the rubber band that's all good okay so now you've got your gun you got to kind of hold it hold it together let's attach the q-tip crossbow section now this little box fits right in the middle and it pushes all the way up like this these points come all the way up so you can see how that is sandwiched right in there all the way up to the front you can even feel the points of those little sled thing there we go so that's that's in all right now underneath the bow we got to put in this uh i think he looks like a space invader that's why I, blah, 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 he needs eyes or something it looks like a little space invader and we're going to plug him in his middle pegs plug right into the bottom here into that slotted groove and then it plugs up into the bow to hold it in place there so you can see how the little space invader locks the crossbow from underneath right in there And on the back, we have this thing that I call the razor blade, because it looks like an old-fashioned razor blade to me. It's, uh, it's cut out in the middle, and there's a little bridge on the top. The bridge goes on the top, like so. So that's where that goes. But before I put that on, I'm just going to slide the shaft in place. So this little seat will fit in there. Now, you don't want to put this in the box. The box that we built is for the Q-tip, for the ammo. The shaft goes underneath through the, through the Space Invader. So you can see how the shaft goes under there through the Space Invader, just like this. So that's where the shaft goes. And then the razor blade will slide down over the shaft and onto the end. And it pegs in place as like little holes for the square pegs. There. So that's on. Now what I suggest is putting the guardrails first on the side that the, the rib, rivet pegs and the lock plate is. So, so you'll see how the guardrail has a long edge and a short edge. And the long edge goes on back on the razor blade. So it goes back here and it pegs on the front. And you can see, once that's in place, bam, that this guardrail holds this plate down so that it's locked into those pegs. It's a, now it can't push up. Right? So that's, that's what that guardrail is guarding and holding the whole thing together. Put the other side on, the long end in the back, and it attaches there and there. And then sometimes this gets stuck between these two rails. Like for instance, let me show you. That this long piece should go under the shaft. 
and if and if the shaft is down a little bit you have to just move it there and now it should be very easy to move like so and then the whole thing gets held together by this eagle it looks like a eagle on the back of a quarter to me so I'm gonna put the eagle right up here and that locks everybody together that there is so now you gotta go down here I'm gonna use this q-tip very handy tool to grab this rubber band and I'm gonna make sure that the rubber band isn't twisted see how it's like coming straight down it's not all wrapped up like that it's even Steven you spread it out and hook it into the groove in the bottom of the handle bring it up over the entire thing and you'll notice there's little grooves in the guardrails and then it just hooks over the eagle's head so now the pressure of this rubber band is holding the gun together uh, the downward pressure of the rubber band on the eagle keeps this plug in this plug keeps the entire gun together and uh, the trigger this rubber band creates the pressure on the on the pin and the trigger works so now all we have to do is attach a rubber band to the crossbow and that's very easy so what we do is you take a small rubber band like this one of these little skinny guys and you pinch it pinchy pinchy and you get it through just get it through the hole get it in there whatever it takes there now just run the rubber band through itself so that it locks into place see that that's beautiful isn't it it is it really is and i'm going to bring that the top loop all the way around like that just because it so it looks better just looks prettier now i'm going to bring this across the crossbow i'm going to pinch it so i can bring it up and go underneath and up and there it is now all you gotta do is that piece that comes up is open it and stretch it over the back pressure will keep it in place so put this behind the seat and then you can so you have two ways to get your gun ready you can push it back or you can pull it back your q-tip needs to be cut you just simply cut off one end with a pair of scissors and you get yourself a q-tip that'll fit in the box that fits in the box goes right on top of the hot seat like that and then it shoots here we go kaboom so that's how you build the thing but there's still some troubleshooting that you gotta check out in the next video so make sure and watch the next video and I'll try to help you fix any kind of problems that I came across. So, see you there.